Patterns is the most creative online class that I've taken in that it allowed me to um, work individually at my own pace when I could and work in a group with uh, the peer online class. And it gave me an opportunity to try things out with my peer group and then try it out with my class and then come back to the whole group class um, online and discuss what went well, what didn't go well. And then I got suggestions from other people as to what I could do next. And I really appreciate that. Patterns was a very fun online class. It was all about what I was already teaching. So it was totally relevant to me. So I totally enjoyed the class because of that. The lessons were engaging and I learned a lot from them because there were so many different parts. Part of the class was reading and then there was a test at the end or they wouldn't call it a test. They'd call it um, a checkpoint, something like that. I liked the individual tasks because it was all about how I think and I like to kind of be challenged and I like to show math work. I like to make sure that I still know what I'm doing and I'm competent in all the areas. After you submitted everything, uh, peers could go back and comment about what you wrote, like, oh, I never tried that. I would like that. I should try that. Or, um, you know, what you could try is, and then they would give me advice as to how I could do something going forward. Another person that I know, she's like, I didn't do it that way. I did it this way. And I'm like, oh, okay. But that helped me because then I could say, um, like when I'm teaching the kids, I do it this way. However, Mr. Long does it this way. And he's 30 years younger than me. So his ways are different. So it's okay as long as you understand it, whether you did it my way or his way. So I liked giving the feedback and I liked receiving the feedback. There was meeting Mr. Mendoza outside of class and having a one-on-one -on -one about um, progress in the class and if I was struggling or what I'd like to do more and how he could help me engage um, my students. Stephen was awesome. He was awesome in the teaching part and the one-on-one -on -one part and the motivating part. And I thought if I was ever to teach a class, I would like to emulate him when I was in the patterns class, we went, we talked about um, executive functions for many weeks. And then we talked about um, high level and low level tasks. I was probably using a lot more low level tasks with my students to their discredit. I was thinking maybe they couldn't handle the higher, higher level tasks. And then in the reading, it said, basically, if you give them low tasks and they're successful, they still kind of are doing low things. And if you give them a high level task and they don't complete it or, or don't do as well, they're still getting more out of it than doing a bunch of low level tasks. So I took that immediately to my classroom and I found that they, they love the challenge more than I figured they would. So they really have, have been successful in here showing, you know, the different kinds of executive skills that we've been working on and showing me that they have higher level tasks that they can complete either alone or as a team. So I, I really liked, I really liked the vocabulary that went along with uh, the patterns uh, course. And I liked how I could take it to my own classroom and immediately start using it.